Good morning and welcome to our 11 a.m. online service from St. Michael the Belfry. My name's Mike and I'm one of the curates at the Belfry and I'm going to be leading us through the service this morning. We've got lots coming up today. It's our final talk in our series on the selected Psalms, which is going to be given to us by Liz Hunt, our head of children and families. Um, we've got a reading given to us by Barry and Joan Stevenson and prayers by the Kelsall family as well. We've also got some sung worship being led by Ruth, who is ably assisted by her um, housemates, who I used to call interns, but since they have now finished with us, I simply call excellent human beings. So we're going to hear from God's word, we're going to worship together and we're going to pray. Uh, but before we do that, let me just pray before we begin. Lord God, thank you for this time. Thank you that we're able to gather together in this way. Lord, thank you for technology that enables us to do that. Father, we pray that you would meet with each one of us this morning. Would you bless us? Would you teach us? Would you impact us and change our lives? I pray. Amen. Great. So if you're able, uh, then do join with me as we stand uh, for our first worship song.
The reading this morning is from Psalm 139 from the International Children's Bible, and we're reading from the first 18 verses. Lord, you have examined me. You know all about me. You know when I sit down and when I get up. You know my thoughts before I think them. You know where I go and where I lie down. You know well everything I do. Lord, even before I say a word, you already know what I'm going to say. You are all around me, in front and behind. You have put your hand on me. Your knowledge is amazing to me. It is more than I can understand. Where can I go to get away from your spirit? Where can I run from you? If I go up to the skies, you are there. If I go down to where the dead are, you are there. If I rise with the sun in the east and settle in the west beyond the sea, even there you would guide me. With your right hand, you would hold me. I could say the darkness will hide me. The light around me will turn into night. But even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is as light as the day. Darkness and light are the same to you. You made my whole being. You formed me in my mother's body. I praise you because you made me in an amazing and wonderful way. What you have done is wonderful. I know this very well. You saw my bones being formed as I took shape in my mother's body. When I was put together there, you saw my body as it was formed. All the days planned for me were written in your book before I was one day old. God, your thoughts are precious to me. They are so many. If I could count them, they would be more than all the grains of sand. When I wake up, I'm still with you. Thank you, Barry and Joan, for that reading this morning. We're continuing with our series looking at Psalms, and this particular one is Psalm 139. And I asked um, Barry and Joan to read it from the International Children's Bible version, um, just so I felt it would help us understand it a bit better this morning. So that might be why it sounds a little bit different to what you're used to. If you don't know me, my name's Liz Hunt. I'm the Children and Families Worker at the Belfry. Um, and as I said, we're going to carry on with our series on the Psalms today. Um, and particularly today, we're thinking about the lonely and how we can respond when we're feeling lonely using some of the things we learn from this Bible passage. Let's just pray before we start. Lord God, thank you for the Bible. Thank you for all the things we can learn about you from it. And we pray, Holy Spirit, that you'll help us to understand the Bible better today. Amen. So I wonder if you've ever felt lonely. I'm sure lots of us have. Maybe particularly in this lockdown season, if you maybe have been living on your own or you've not been able to see people that you'd like to see. It's been really tricky. Maybe we've often felt like we're on our own. Um, I've dug out my game of Guess Who this morning for us to think about this theme of loneliness. We're going to focus on Anita, who's down here at the front. We're going to use her to think about this story, of this idea of loneliness and what it means to be lonely and how we can learn about God in that time. So maybe sometimes you felt like Anita and you feel like everybody has left you. You're all on your own that nobody cares about you. And actually, maybe if you live on your own, that's a a feeling that you have quite a lot, particularly maybe during this lockdown time, you haven't seen anybody for a long time, apart from on a screen, and that never feels quite the same. But this psalm is a great bit of the Bible to remember when we feel like that. Firstly, it tells us that God knows all about us, all our thoughts, our feelings, our actions. I love that. That on those days when I feel like no one cares, no one understands how I'm feeling, I know that God cares and he knows all about me. But actually, it's possible to feel lonely when we're with people too. Anita's got loads of people around her now, but actually I'm sure you can think of times when maybe you felt lonely, even though the room is full of people. Maybe you feel like you don't, didn't belong, um, it was really busy and nobody was talking to you, um, you were on the playground and you couldn't find anybody to play with. But actually this psalm tells us that God goes everywhere with us. That's great when we're worrying about maybe going to a new place or when we're stuck in that situation when there's loads of people around and we just feel it on our own. The psalm today says, you know where I go and where I lie down. 
we're reminded there's nowhere we can go where God doesn't go to. The psalm says that you are all around me, in front and behind. God is there right with us, next to us. And though we can't see him, we can remind ourselves that he is there with us. Next we read that God made us and he made us really well in an amazing and a wonderful way. But I wonder if you're like me when you're feeling lonely or alone, you start wondering if there's a reason for that. If maybe you don't look quite right or you haven't got the right clothes or you've said something wrong. I wonder whether maybe Anita here, maybe she's feeling like her hair's the wrong colour or her nose is too big or her eyes are the wrong colour or she just hasn't done the right things to fit into the crowd. But actually this psalm tells us that God made us and that he thinks we're amazing. So whatever other people think about us, it doesn't matter because God tells us that we're amazing and that we're wonderfully made by him. When I was preparing for today, I was reminded of the fact that Jesus understands what it's like to be lonely. When he's on the cross, he calls out to God and he says, God, why have you left me? Why have you forsaken me? Is that the word that's often used? Why have you left me alone to die? So when we're feeling lonely, we can talk to Jesus knowing that he understands how we're feeling. He knows what it feels like to be all alone. So let's remember some of the things we've learned today. Let's tell Anita down here some of these things that we've learned from the psalm. What can she remember when she's feeling lonely? Well, she can know that God knows all about her and he knows exactly how she's feeling. She can remember that God is everywhere, that he's always with her, whether she's on her own or in a whole room full of people. And she can remember that God has made her in a wonderful and an amazing way. I hope those are some things that you can remember yourselves. Um, if there's a time when you're feeling lonely, you can know that God is there with you. Let's just pray. Thank you, God, that you know all about us. You know how we're feeling. You go everywhere with us. And you've made us in an amazing and a wonderful way. When we're feeling lonely and alone, please help us to remember these things and to know that you care. Amen. Oh. Oh. Well, God, we ask you, we ask to see breakthrough in this current pandemic. We ask that we see a, um, a slowing down of infections, um, you will protect people, and Lord, that you will be with people during this time. And Lord, I pray also for um, all those whose mental health has suffered during this time. I pray that um, you build people up, um, that you build up their um, sense of peace and their sense of where you are in this, Lord. We pray that you protect those who are really vulnerable um, with their mental health. And as things ease, I pray uh, just for more of your peace, Lord. Yeah, Lord, we pray that you um, build community as we can meet again. Lord, we pray that we can um, regain uh, that sense of family amongst our congregation and amongst the church community. Mm. Lord, may um, your people be uh, builders of community during this time. And Lord, we pray for leaders. And we pray, Lord, for um, the church, um, the leaders of the Church of England as things ease. And we pray for them. And we pray for the leaders of our country that um, may you just continue blessing them with wisdom, Lord, um, and that you really encourage them. And uh, we'll say the Lord's Prayer together. So, our Father, Father in heaven, heaven hallowed be your name. name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Hi everyone, it's Gillian Shepherd from the Impact Project. Uh, we're really looking forward to sharing an update about the project with you. Um, we have our presentation on Thursday the 23rd of July. That starts at 7pm and you'll be able to use the link to register. Or if you can't make that um, but you want to join us for coffee and a chat on Sunday the 26th of July, we'd love to see you there. Hope you can make one of those sessions. Hi everyone, my name is Beth Burbage and I am the internship coordinator here at The Belfry. 
Today marks the end of our internship year and we just wanted to say a massive thank you to each and every one of our interns who have served our church so faithfully through this last year. We're so thankful for all that you have given out in your different ministries and we just wanted to say a massive personal thank you to each and every one of you. So to Ruth, India, Nathan, Jacob, Luke, Chris and Matthew on the New Wine Discipleship Year, and to Beth, Izzy, Zoe, Patrick, Hannah, Saf and Rebecca and Charlotte on the leadership year. We just wanted to say you guys are great and we're praying for you as you step into this next season of your life. We know that many of you are going to be sticking around and we might see you again at the Belfry. But for some of you, you're going to be moving on and we just want to let you know we are praying for you and we're so thankful for you. The other piece of news is that our applications for September are open for both the New Wine Discipleship Year and Leadership Year. And so if you or anybody that you know are aged between 18 and 24 and are interested in doing an internship with us here at the Belfry, we would love to hear from you. We've got amazing ministry opportunities here and we would love to journey with you in discipleship and leadership over the course of this next year. So if you're interested, then either go to our website or you can contact me at the email address below. We would love to hear from you. So our service is now drawing to a close, but before we have our last song together, just some final bits of news for you. As always, do keep your eye on our website, uh, whether that's for pastoral information and ways to be supported during this time, or whether that's just for what's happening in the life of the church, do go to www.belfry.org for all of those updates and information. Um, it is, as I said, our final Sunday on this selected psalm series, which means that next Sunday we're kicking off our summer series, uh, looking at unsung heroes. So the shape of that summer Sundays is going to be a little bit different. We're going to be having our 8 a.m. quiet communion in St. Michael the Belfry Church. Um, we're going to have a 10.30 a.m. whole church service online where there'll be a uh, talk for all ages, uh, and we're also going to provide an extended talk for you to be able to watch um, whenever you like and whenever that's useful for you. Uh, if you'd like to go a little bit deeper into the passage and then at 8pm in the evening, we're going to have live worship on Facebook. So if you want any more details about that, uh, then again, do go to our website um, for more details on that. Um, as always, we like to say a massive, massive thank you to those of you who have been able to give during this time, it really does make a huge difference to the work that we're able to do uh, in this city and wider field as well. So if you would like to give to the work of this church, um, whether that's for the first time or to set up a regular gift, uh, then do go to belfry.org forward slash giving to do that. And a big thank you to you if you are able to. Finally, we will be meeting for coffee after the service. So for the uh, link for that, do go to belfry.org forward slash coffee. And our password for today is together11. And that's with a capital T and a number 11, together11. But before coffee, let's sing one last time after which I'll give us the blessing. Oh
So now just the final blessing and hear these words from Numbers chapter 6, verses 24 to 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. And may the blessing of God, the Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with you now and as you go into the week ahead. Amen. Have a great week.